There's the start of the 100-meter backstroke event at Helsinki. More thrills from a thrill-packed Olympics and more points for the American team, which went on to win the unofficial team title, overtaking the Russians in the closing days of the Games. The Soviet news agency TASS is telling its readers the Russians won the Olympics. Those at Helsinki, and especially American swimmers, whose victories contributed greatly to our Olympic triumph, know better. Yoshinobu Oyokawa of Honolulu knows better. He set a new Olympic record in the 100-meter backstroke, beating out Gilbert Bozon of France in a spine-tingling finish. Another American, Jack Taylor of Akron, came in third. He and Oyakawa are two happy point winners and share in the acclaim of the crowd as they receive their medals. Victory in the 400-meter freestyle brought Jean Boiteur of France an unexpected accolade. Papa Boiteur is so carried away, he jumps fully clothed into the pool to embrace his son in the accustomed Gallic manner. Vive la France! Now for high diving thrills and a one-man show by Sammy Lee of the Army Medical Corps. Easily retaining his Olympic championship, Major Lee helped swell the point totals that brought his team victory. Here is perfection in slow motion. Prince Bernhardt and the Duke of Edinburgh look on as Sammy Lee winds up with another slow motion beauty. Lee in a cutaway, one and a half. Gold medals, good sportsmanship, and international goodwill. All three are dispensed at Helsinki, where Sammy Lee and his fellow Americans win the hearts of Olympic fans.